lot of times we get calls from new business owners wanting to know what types of fire extinguishers are required or that they just need fire extinguishers they really don't know what they are. These are really the two most typical fire extinguishers that you're going to see in most businesses today unless it's some type of manufacturing facility or automotive repair or special hazards uh, such as airports. Well, hi guys, I'm Doug with Florida Fire Service Incorporated. Uh, we're located in Valrico, Florida. We've been in business for over 40 years serving Tampa Bay. So today I want to talk to you about different types of fire extinguishers. And we'll do another segment later on the types of fires or the classifications of fires because that's going to be important before you ever feel comfortable using a fire extinguisher. That being said, I want to direct your attention to this fire extinguisher right here, which happens to be an ABC stored pressure dry chemical fire extinguisher. And if you look at the front of the fire extinguisher, it tells you what classifications of fires that this particular extinguisher will extinguish. On the front of the fire extinguisher, you're going to find the classifications that the extinguisher will extinguish. In this particular case, if you notice the blue markings on the fire extinguisher, the little blue boxes here, Class A is the first letter that this extinguisher will extinguish, which is wood and paper and anything that leaves an ash. And then in the middle you have Class B, which is flammable liquids. And last but not least, you have Class C, which is energized electrical fires. The certification tag that comes on the fire extinguisher from a actual certified state dealer uh, tells you that the fire extinguisher has been inspected and it's going to give you maximum assurance that the fire extinguisher will work. Uh, and that's typically good for one year. The purpose of that, a lot of people think that fire equipment dealers are just running around putting tags on extinguishers, but there's actually a lot more to it. There's a lot of insurance involved in the background that you don't see. And just recently there were 40 million extinguishers recalled because they were they had manufacturer's defects and they're not going to work in the event of a fire. More than 40 million kit of fire extinguishers with plastic handles, some that have been on the market for decades, are now being recalled. The reason, Kitta says, they may not work in an emergency. The mounting mechanism along with the handle is not allowing it to express the content in there. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, the malfunction has already led to one death in 2014 when emergency responders couldn't get the recalled Kitta extinguisher to work. The recall also cites 16 reports of injuries and 91 reports of property damage. So it's important to have your fire extinguishers inspected to make sure that they're not being recalled and to make sure that we have the proper type of fire extinguisher. If you do buy fire extinguishers for your business at a box store or online, typically you're going to have to have them serviced by a company like us, uh, which is going to add additional cost. It's much better if you actually buy it from the dealer themselves, the fire equipment dealer, because they're going to be able to address your special hazard needs and what types of fire extinguishers you need in your workplace. Special hazards, we can go into that. This is a dry chemical ABC extinguisher, which we talked about will extinguish class A, B, and C fires. Special hazards, they make other fire extinguishers, such as a class K extinguisher. This may be one that a lot of people are not familiar with, but this particular fire extinguisher extinguishes a Class A and Class K fires. Class A, as we talked about, is wood paper, anything that leaves an ash. And Class K is now the new grease fire. It's been out for several years now. These are more for commercial cooking applications, but it is something that would be required in restaurants. What you're going to see in that restaurant is this Class K extinguisher that complements the pre-engineered fire suppression system installed above the cooking equipment, along with this ABC dry chemical fire extinguisher, which will extinguish the other types of fires that you may find in a restaurant. There's actually eight different types of fire extinguishers that do a lot of different things. So it's important that you contact an authorized service center, such as Florida Fire Service Inc., to come out and look at the hazards in your facility and make sure that you are protected and your employees and customers are protected as well. Fire extinguishers are required to be serviced annually by the National Fire Code. They're also typically required to be serviced annually by your insurance company. And you do it for the protection of your employees and the protection of your customers that are 
that are visiting the building. If you'd like more information, you can visit my website at the link below. We have free training on the website that will teach you more about fire extinguishers, the classifications of fire, and it's loaded with information. You can shop for your fire extinguishers there on the website at floridafireservice.com. There will be a link here in the video for you. Uh, and keep in mind that we don't just do fire extinguishers, guys. We do do fire sprinklers, fire alarms, fire pumps, fire hydrant, anything that has to do with fire, Florida Fire Service is your family-friendly, locally-owned fire protection company. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be coming at you with a lot of different tips and uh, some ways for you to save money and to keep you out of trouble with the fire inspectors, the national fire codes, and the attorneys. So check me out. We'll be back soon.